Hey guys, Delta Kanucky in here, and I got some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay and obviously commentary for you, and this will serve as my week one entry into the real commentator March Madness 2. <laughs> I'm stealing a commentary from a buddy of mine. I'm basically going to talk about Call of Duty Elite, the service, uh, and basically my thoughts on it about five and a half, six months into Modern Warfare 3's life cycle. And I'll start off just with this. I think COD Elite's a scam. There were really kind of two big things in in Elite that were selling points, and that was you get the most in-depth, detailed statistics ever in a Call of Duty game. The most detailed stat tracking. Then we get Elite. They basically just took everything from the combat record out of the game and are making you pay 50 bucks for it now. This is something that was free in Black Ops that was a part of that $70 fee or $60 in the U.S., or how, you know, if you bought one of the special editions, $80, $150, whatever. It was a part of the game you purchased. Now, no, it's a completely separate service. And then this is the real... I'm sure this was the real driving force behind it all. And the DLC. Obviously, this is all speculation, but come on. I think I'm... You know, I'm on the right track here. This Elite was basically to get people to pre-order DLC they haven't even seen yet. Let me just ask you this. If this was a full game, an actual game... Would you ever put a pre-order on it? All like not one of these EB games you can put five dollars and pay the rest later. Pay for it in its entirety up front without having even seen it, without have, even knowing what it's called. Right, you're pre-ordering Game X, putting all the money on it right there. You've never seen it. You don't know what's gonna be called, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Would you do that? I'm guessing most of you're gonna say no. So why would you do it for DLC? It allows Activision and whoever's working on the DLC, I think it's actually Raven Software, it's not even Infinity Ward and those guys. But it allows them to just pump out complete crap and give it to us because, well, we've already purchased it. They've got their stack of money, they don't give a shit. <laughs> they're just going to give us whatever the hell they come up with and, you know, they their, their motto or mantra or whatever you want to say will be, well, fucking deal with it. Because that's what they can do, because we keep giving them all this money. And it, it's pathetic, because they're just basically taking a huge piss on the community that they owe a lot to. If it wasn't for the YouTube community, the way I, just the way I see it, if it wasn't for a bunch of us on YouTube, w would Call of Duty have become as popular as it has? Honestly, w without the montages and, and the commentators and everything, why... We're, I don't think Call of Duty would be as big as it is. So I think they kind of owe it to us, and just continuing with the whole crapping on the community theme, they took Xbox Ahoy, they contracted them to do weapon guide videos for Elite only, and then they p blocked them out from doing a different, albeit similar, series on YouTube. So now, this content that was available to all of us on YouTube for free for Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, 50 bucks if you want to get it. It's it's put Xbox Ahoy completely out of his element. Thankfully, he's kept doing videos because he makes great content, but we don't get it as often, and you know, and now we don't get the weapon guides that I thought were really amazing. I like just seeing what he'd suggest for a class with a weapon I'd never used, and just going randomly trying that out. So you see how I like it, and that you know that was half the fun for me in Black Ops was just testing out new stuff that he suggested. <laughs> They, they, like, again, they claim they claim to care about this community, but they come on, they don't really. And don't don't even get me started. <clears throat> don't even get me started on Robert Bowling and his, you know, there's no last stand crap back at COD fucking XP. That was just. <laughs> if you follow me on Twitter, I went nuts about that uh, way back in September. So, there's a few other things here. The tips and tricks for the maps and guns. I don't think they help all that often. When, when these games are developed, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, whoever it is, they envision the game being played much differently than it actually is, much more strategy involved. Unfortunately, it's not played that way, so that's part of why the game feels broken, I think, a lot of the time. So none of their tips, their class suggestions, whatever, really actually help. And their exclusive shows, like Friday Night Fights, they really range from mediocre to terrible. So... You may save a few bucks on the DLC. Actually, well, you absolutely save some money on the DLC if you're going to buy all the DLC normally. But I still view Elite as a scam because it's making you pre-order something you've never seen. And even if I buy the sequel to Black Ops, Black Ops 2, Iron Wolf, whatever it may be called, 
I am kind of interested on it. I'm going to keep an eye on it because Treyarch does seem like they want to innovate rather than iterate. But even if I do decide somehow that I'm going to continue playing Call of Duty after this game, I will not be purchasing another year of Call of Duty Elite. And I'm going to recommend to anyone I know that plays Call of Duty to not purchase this crappy fucking scam of a service. That's basically my thoughts on it. That's my entry for the real commentator, March Madness 2. Do whatever you want below with the commenting, the liking, the favoriting, that good stuff. It's all up to you. I am Delta Knucky, and I will see you guys next time.